uh, for congregational prayer as we come to that and uh, for our offering, uh, just to make you aware that the offering today is for Disability Concerns, which is a denominational ministry that helps uh, not only churches to, uh, to accommodate various folks with various disabilities, uh, but also reaches out to create awareness and, uh, and does a great deal of ministry to help people uh, understand those who suffer with various disabilities as well. So we would ask you to prayerfully consider that too in your giving. Uh, additionally, in uh, terms of pastoral care, uh, wanted to uh, make you aware, if you are not already, uh, that we, uh, we send our condolences to the Osterhoff uh, family. Uh, Joe uh, Osterhoff passed away uh, this week. Um, and the, the funeral arrangements are as follows. Uh, the visitation is scheduled from 4 to 7 today at Brockville Christian Reformed Church at Bethel in Brockville. Uh, you are welcome to come and visit uh, during that time. Also, the internment service will be Monday morning, tomorrow morning at 9.30 at uh, the Green Bank Cemetery excuse me, on McManus Road near Rock Springs. Um, and you are also, of course, welcome to come to that should you desire. Um, and then the service of Celebration of Life uh, for uh, Joe uh, is at 11 at Bethel CRC in Rockville, and you are also welcome to come to that as well. Um, it is wonderful that unlike a few months ago, we can actually come together and support one another uh, in person in these times instead of being quite so constricted in who's allowed to come to these things. Um, but I know that many of us uh, knew Joe for many, many years, uh, and I, I remember just meeting her when I first came here, or shortly thereafter, and just feeling the love. I, this sounds a little bit weird, but it felt like the love oozed out of her eyeballs. She was just, she was just such a, a positive and loving and welcoming person. There's always that little sparkle of what felt like mischief to me, but a good kind of mischief. And uh, she will be missed very, very much in this community. Um, and we are grateful for all the years that she had among us. Uh, and we are grateful for her family. Uh, and we are, uh, we are together with you in our grief and uh, also in the great hope of being able to be reunited with her and with your dad as well uh, someday when we see Jesus face to face. Other, that, uh, other than that, for uh, pastoral care and for our congregational needs, I uh, would ask that you would pray for Charlotte. Um, Charlotte uh, is, is not doing very well right at the moment. Uh, she she has various, uh, she has some things in her body that mean that when other people would get a cold, she has real serious difficulties. And uh, she is suffering right now. Uh, she was at Chio last week uh, for a little bit. Um, and who knows, they may bring her in again. But please pray for Charlotte. Um, pray also, of course, for Chris and Heather and Ben and Aaron and Adele as well um, as they care for uh, Charlotte too and go about their lives. Let us come to God in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, we thank you again for drawing us together this morning. We pray that you would continue to guide us through this worship service. We thank you so much for the opportunity that we have had to worship you in song and through scripture and in prayer already. Lord, we pray that, that this will continue and that in the message upcoming, you would speak and that your words would go into our heart and be implanted there deeply 
so that we may grow and flourish in Your Kingdom. Lord, we pray in particular this week for, for, uh, for the Osterhof family, O oh God. For all of us as we grieve the passing of Job. Lord, we thank You so much for her life. We thank You so much for how You grew her more and more into a woman who displayed Your love in her every waking moment. Lord, we pray. We pray that You would comfort all of us with the knowledge that she is together with her husband again and with You, O oh God, face to face. Lord, would You comfort, would You comfort the family that they may rest <coughs> in the assurance of her salvation and they may look forward eagerly someday to being reunited with her as well. Father, we pray that You would be with Charlotte. Lord God, we ask that You would strengthen this delightful young lady and heal her, O oh God. We thank You for her family who love her so much. And we thank You for all the gifts and abilities that You have given her. Lord, we pray for Your healing hand upon her. Whether you heal her miraculously or through medical intervention or through her body's own processes, Lord, please bring her healing. Lord, we pray too that you will be with the Denominational Disabilities Concern Ministry. Lord, we thank you so much for the work that they have done over the years and continue to do among the churches of the CRC, advocating for those who struggle with various disabilities, educating and supporting and helping churches to build infrastructure that will accommodate those needs. We pray too, O oh God, for our own financial situation. Lord, we trust in You to provide. And at the same time, we also know that each of us holds an obligation to Your church. And that we in turn have obligations to our regional body and the ministries that we do through classes. And that in turn, we also have responsibilities to our denomination and all the ministry that we are able to do throughout the world. And so, Lord, open our hearts and minds there too, that we may give generously and cheerfully and openly to all that you call us to give to. Lord, guide us in all of these things, for you are our King. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.